Let's break down Addison's disease versus Cushing's disease. Cushing's disease is when the body produces too much steroids, where Addison's disease happens when the body doesn't have enough steroids. So the memory trick here is Cushing's disease think they have a cushion. And for Addison's disease, think of it as needing to add some steroids. So to review, Cushing's is an overproduction and Addison's is insufficient amounts. All right, let's head over to the bundle to look at some classic symptoms of each condition. Some classic symptoms of Cushing syndrome include buffalo hump, a moon face, hirsutism or masculine characteristics, and truncal obesity with thin extremities. Now for some classic symptoms of Addison's disease, we have fatigue, vitiligo or white areas or patchy depigmentation of the skin, and muscle weakness. Let's go over some key differences in vital signs and lab values because we know the NCLEX loves to test on these things. The way to remember all of these is to think Cushing's is pushing levels up. So blood pressure will be up, fluid volume will be up, weight will be up, blood sugar will also be up, sodium and water will be up but be sure to know that potassium will be down. Now for Addison's, this is the opposite. Addison's think arrows down. So blood pressure will be down, fluid volume will be down, weight will be down, blood sugar will be down, and sodium and water will also be down. But again, remember potassium is the outlier. This will go up. So Cushing's is pushing up and Addison's is arrows down. But again, potassium is the outlier here. You can find nursing school comparison charts like this in the complete nursing school bundle. Happy studying, future nurses.